Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Today, we're jumping into the FH5 Update 9, which isn't the Hot Wheels update. Eh, sorta of, kinda. Speaking of Hot Wheels, this is Forza Horizon 5 Hot Wheels expansion gameplay, which we're gonna talk about in today's video. However, before we get into that, we have 10 new cars coming to FH5 this month. If you wanna see me unlock them, customize them, drive them, Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. This is gonna be a really cool month for all sorts of different cars. This month's update also includes some really nice bug fixes and some new additions for the game that we've been asking for for a very, very long time. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Now let's start it off with those 10 new cars coming to FH5. Let's start it off with the festival playlist. All of these cars, everybody can unlock just by playing the game normally. And let's start it off with this. The Hot Wheels 2 Jet Z is officially returning for FH5. You can unlock this thing by getting 20 points in the summer season. If you don't know what the 2 Jet Z is, it is one of the craziest Hot Wheels ever made. It's like this buggy cart, go-kart thing. I don't even know what you'd actually classify this as, but it's got a crazy 2 Z motor inside of it and a colander on the back. No, that, that's actually a colander. Yeah. Moving on to this, the 1968 Plymouth Barracuda Formula S, which you can again unlock in the autumn season by getting 20 points. This Plymouth Barracuda was only in Forza Motorsport 2, 3, and 4. It's been a very long time since we've had it a Forza game, so I'm actually excited to see this one back. And I mean, this particular Plymouth Barracuda has an awesome, enormous 6.8 liter V8 that produces a measly 330 horsepower. It's not efficient, but it's cool. So that's what counts. For Forza Horizon 5 though, sometimes these old muscle cars can have some crazy upgrades Fingers crossed for a 1,700 horsepower engine swap. We'll have to see in a couple of weeks. Subscribe if you want to see that though. And I mean, hey, if you're a fan of the old timey classic muscle cars, you will love this. The 1970s Dodge Coronet Super B that again, you can unlock by getting 20 points in the winter. If you thought the engine in the Barracuda was big, well, this thing has a seven liter big block V8 that actually produces 425 horsepower horsepower, more efficient, still not, uh, let's call it great on fuel, but so, so cool. And again, similarly to that Plymouth Barracuda, this thing hasn't been in a Forza game since Forza Motorsport 7. It's never been in a Horizon game before. It was only in Motorsport 4, 5, and 6, and 7. So again, it's nice to get this thing, and we'll keep fingers crossed for some nice upgrades. And last but not least for the festival playlist this month is this, the Nash Metropolitan Hot Wheels Edition. I spoke about it last week. I thought it would be coming to the game, and yes, it actually is. You can unlock it by getting 20 points in the spring, so again, it shouldn't take you super long to get it. This thing is gonna be so fun. So those four cars are the four free cars that everybody can unlock this month in the festival playlist in FH5. If you ask me personally, it's kind of a disappointing month for people who don't have the DLC because all four of these cars have been in previous Forza games. If you compare this to previous months, like last month in Update 8, we had the 911 GT3 and the Audi RS4 come to the game for all players for free. And the month before that, we had the Ferrari SF90 and the Ferrari F8 come to the game. It's kind of disappointing that there's no new cars for people who may not have the DLC this month. Hopefully that changes for next month, but again, we'll have to see. Let's move it away from those free cars though and over to the DLC cars. These three cars you can get in the car pass. So if you have the DLC, you just jump into the game and they'll get added into your garage completely for free. Starting off in the first week, you can unlock this, the Aston Martin DBX, the Aston Martin SUV crossover, whatever you want to call it, it's coming to FH5. The Aston Martin DBX is brand new for Forza, which is awesome to see. The DBX has only been in one other video game that I'm aware of, and that's Dirt 5, where it released a couple of years ago now, back in 2020. Regardless, the Aston Martin DBX should be super fun to drive around. It's got a twin turbo V8 built by Mercedes AMG, so you know it's gonna be super fast. And obviously, for those of you who don't know, Formula One uses the DBX as their medical car, so fingers crossed we can actually toss on some lights 
onto the roof of it so we could recreate the medical car in FH5. In real life, there's actually a super fast version of the DBX called the 707, which yes, has exactly 707. What do you mean it doesn't have 707 horsepower? How much horsepower does it? 697? Who names these cars? Anyways though, Aston Martin will actually tell you that the 707 is actually the world's most powerful crossover. Yes, a crossover. I would assume that's because if it was an SUV, which it actually is, it would go up against the Jeep Trackhawk, a car with actually 707 horsepower. I know it might be controversial, but I actually really like these. SU, sorry, crossovers. So I'm excited to give it a go in FH5. We'll see how it is. The week after the DBX comes out, we can unlock this, the 2020 Lexus RCF Track Edition. Yes, this thing has been requested a whole bunch and it's finally coming to FH5. For those of you who don't know, the track edition of the Lexus RCF is basically an RCF that's gone on a bit of a diet, I imagine, at the request of Jeremy Clarkson. To make the track edition nearly 200 pounds lighter than the standard version, Lexus fitted it with lightweight rims, carbon ceramic brakes, a titanium exhaust, and a whole bunch of carbon fibery bits, and all of that for the low, low price of a hundred thousand dollars. Don't get me wrong, it's gonna be super fun to drive. It's got an awesome five liter V8 that produces nearly 500 horsepower. I'm really excited to see what customization this thing has. Maybe it'll bring back the wide body. Probably not though. Pro pro no, it's not, it's not gonna happen. Wishful thinking though. And last but not least, the third and final car coming to the car pass for Forza Horizon 5 is this the 2019 Nissan 370Z. For those of you who don't know, the 2019 Nissan 370Z has an awesome 3.7 liter V6 engine. They all come in manual, which is super, super nice. They've got like 330 horsepower, rear wheel drive, and they can do zero to 60 in about five seconds, which is also pretty good. However, here's the thing, nobody cares. So much so, you probably didn't realize this is actually the 2010 version that's already in FH5. This is the new one from 2019. <laughs> okay, I kind of did you a little bit dirty there, but you might be saying, Nick, what did they change for the new Nissan 370Z? Well, the engine? N no. The suspension? Yeah, no. How about the interior? N nope. The styling? Yes. Yes, they did change the styling because Nissan now offers it in new colors. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It's yep. That's all we've got. New colors. So yeah, be excited about the new 370Z in the game. Boom. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> I'm just gonna <clears throat> play Grand Turismo. And that's it with the Nissan 370Z. The car pass for FH5 is officially wrapped up and donezo. I'm not gonna lie. We've had some really, really good cars over the life of the car pass. And we've had some... Some, some cars. You might be saying, but Nick, you said there were 10 cars coming to the game. Yes, we got four cars coming to the festival playlist, three cars being added in as DLC, and there's another three coming. The Hot Wheels Rip Rod, the Hot Wheels Mustang, and the Ford F5 Dually are all returning to FH5. Next week, they'll be getting added into wheel spins in FH5. Probably for the next week or so, they're gonna be some of the rarest cars in the game, so if you get one, I mean, feel free to chuck it up on the auction house and name your price because people are definitely gonna buy it. So I know the cars we got this month weren't the best cars we've ever got. However, some of these new updates and some of the new things coming to the game might make you happy still. Like these, we've got some new Hot Wheels clothing items and some Hot Wheels horns. Can never complain with those. The developers also say there's some new fixes for the convoys to make them work better than they have before. And if you're a PC player, there's now some more optimization options for you to choose from to make your game play smoother and give you better frame rates. Again, always a good thing. One of the things I'm honestly most excited about though, it feels weird to say, but is a duplicate car feature. So you can actually see what cars you have duplicates of in your garage so you can give them to friends or toss them up on the auction house and so on. That's gonna be good. You've waited long enough though, Hot Wheels. Yes, we finally got some Hot Wheels expansion gameplay and I wanted to talk about it a little bit because it's really, really cool. 
some of the stuff you can spot if you slow the gameplay down a little bit. So all of this gameplay is coming from the opening race in the Hot Wheels expansion, so obviously no spoilers. You're driving bad to the blade, which as you can see in some of these clips has eight gears and is super quick. I'm excited to give this car a go. But take your eyes off of the car and look up a little bit. One at the Hot Wheels tracks, just look at how many there are. Look down on the mini map, it is utter chaos everywhere you're driving it is crazy and again one of the things that i'm most excited about is look away from the hot wheels track itself and onto the ground that we're driving above all of the ground we can actually drive on it's massive by the looks of it again we'll have to try it out for ourselves and see how big this map actually feels to play but from the looks of things it looks enormous so i can't wait to do some exploring out here hey nick from the future cutting in here real quick because the developers actually messaged me and told me that they actually made uh a little bit of a mistake with the Hot Wheels expansion. You know how last week I told you that the Hot Wheels expansion would include the Ital Design Da Vinci concept car? A really, really cool car. Well, developers say, uh, that was a mistake. Um, it's, it's not coming. This is instead. This is the 1993 Porsche Chopin 962 CR. Don't really know anything about it just yet, but... There, there, there you go. I, I don't know how a mistake like this happens, but, um, yeah, no Atel design. We get a actually really cool Porsche instead, so there you go. Sorry. And last but not least, the developers confirmed that, yes, Horizon Open is coming to the Hot Wheels expansion. So that means you're going to be able to race online in, like, lobbies that you can actually search for. It wasn't a thing in Forza Horizon 4, so I'm super glad it's coming to FH5. It's good to see. Anyways, though, that's it for FH5 Update 9. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Like I said, probably not the best month for new cars, but I'm really excited to see more of the Hot Wheels expansion, and hopefully we'll hear about some more quality of life features and more bug fixes in the future to make the game just better for everyone. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Subscribe for more FH5 gameplay, and I'll see you guys soon with some more. See you then. Bye!